Wait, that, bro. That's just. <laughs> oh, oh. You know, when you get the game, you got to win. You got to know that when Cain saw Abel, <laughs> Cain looked at Abel and said, I'm Abel when there is Cain. So don't worry about me. We're going to get the win. But I'm going to calm it down right now. Ready? Get right back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> My man. <laughs> Hell so funny. And resign the nano with all that gets ceased with the giggle. You cease with the giggles. We ain't the here but you played with the giggles. The cookbook. That was the yeah. tool we wanted to do with the recipe. Now, uh, now, My grandma used to now make. Now it's time <laughs> for your tides and offerings. <laughs> My God. We're going to let Marcus the worship go. leader take us yeah. to church. Listen, yeah. man. <laughs> Listen, Marcus, man, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy, guys. I'm happy. <laughs> yes. and, and thank you, Neek, for taking me to church. I was listening oh, to gospel no this problem. morning. And I continue to need Jesus every week <laughs> the Cowboys play, okay? Listen, I'm excited as anyone. As a fan, I'm excited. I left him for dead. I said it was over. G had to talk me off the ledge. He was telling me it's going to be okay, big fella. He been texting me during these wins, talking about, hey, I told you, because y'all know G like to be right. And when he wrong, he does not say anything yeah. like he has been either. Here's the thing, man. I love the matchup because of defense and offense. Like, let's be honest about what we're excited about. When you look at what Dallas has been doing defensively, I believe this is the most dominant unit in football right now. Dallas's defense is the most dominant unit in football. And when you look at the way that they play and the way that Philly runs offense, Philly offense is about space, it's about getting playmakers the ball, taking those deep shots. So you got Diggs who gonna probably uh, be on AJ. Or, he's, or, or they going to switch it up. You got a pass rush against one of the best offensive linemen in the, uh, offensive lines in the NFL. You got the RPO game with Jalen and Miles Sanders. You got linebackers that run side to side. You got safeties for Dallas that come down and hit. This is the type of matchup that you want to see in the NFL with two really good teams, but two teams that have units that are absolutely dominant at what they do and top tier. And I can't wait. To play it, because if they win, y'all, I'm telling you, buckle your tail up for next week. Buckle up if they win this game. And Lord, don't let it be Cooper Rush, because you think Dominique preaching right now? Wait till next Tuesday if Dallas get this done. So, so the original construct of this conversation was that after the Michael Irvin sound, I would turn to Dan Graziano and say, so what are the chances Dak Prescott plays this week? I'm glad I was not asked to follow the Michael Irvin sound. Uh, look, I, I, there's a chance, but it, it all depends on how his thumb and his hand get through this week. Uh, if he can grip the ball and throw it and put in three days of normal practice, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, then I think they would play him. But... He couldn't do that last week. They were kind of hopeful that he might be able to do more last week than he did. So add all that up. And, you know, if I were a betting man, which I am definitely not, um, I would think it's more likely that Cooper Rush gets another start. Jeff? Yeah, ain't no way Dak's playing. There's no chance he's playing. <laughs> Are you playing. a betting man? Yeah, I, I, I am a betting man. I would not bet. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I would bet Rush is going to be the starter. I mean, you, you don't want to put, you don't want to subject Dak to the potential of re-injuring this thumb where this football team is sitting. And let me just tell you, the, the, if, if he does come back, I don't think it gives you that much better of a chance of winning this game other than Cooper Rush. Here, here's the formula for the Cowboys to win. Same way they won last week. Block a punt. <laughs> Sack, fumble, fumble for a touchdown, right? A good no turnovers. Right. I, you only got 100 yards, but everybody's anointing you to, to take Dak's job, which we all think is ridiculous. That is how you're going to beat them. And then, to Swagoo's point, you play defense and you force Jalen Hurts to beat you from the pocket. You have a front four that can rush and again it's going to be a heck of a matchup I'm all fired up for it but you can you can you know Dan Quinn can mix in some blitzing but at the end of the day your front four has to be better than the Eagles front five Stop put it. pressure and then go get you the didn't stick. even mention run the ball yeah, yeah. Well, I thought that, he was that, that was one of the most important the, all right, all right. Yeah. Yeah. listen I have to admit though it's not fun being me it's a lot more fun being Michael Irvin <laughs> <laughs> do they need Dak to win this game 
No, they don't need no <laughs> Dak Prescott because the, the bananas went bad early in the season. When they took them nasty nanas, they made it into banana bread. Banana bread. It's okay. You make banana bread. You play one more week with the nana bread named Cooper Rush. And then you bring Dak back when it's healthy. Yes. But I'm yes. not going to get too excited. I'm going to calm down. <laughs> I like being Michael Irvin. It's so much fun. Yeah, it's like a lot of fun. The the pocket square. Well, let me dash myself. It should all be Michael Irvin. But I have to go to a break. This square. We're coming back, I promise. (laughs) As we continue, we're going to talk about, we're going to get my pocket square back. (laughs) And and, and, and the Cowboys defense, they have dominated. That's it, bro. (laughs) (laughs) You know, when you get the game, you got to win. You got to know that when Kane saw Abel, Cain looked at Abel and said, I'm Abel when there is Cain. So don't worry about me. We're going to get the win. But I'm going to calm it down right now. Get right back to the show. <laughs> <laughs> My man. <laughs> Hell so funny. And resigning the nano with all that get cease with the giggle. You cease with the giggles. We ain't the here but you play to win the game. The cookbook. That was the yeah. tool we wanted to recipe. Now, uh, now My grandma used to now make Now it's time for bread. your tides and offerings. <laughs> my God. My God. We gonna the let Marcus the worship go. leader take us yeah. to church. Listen, yeah. man. <laughs> Listen, man, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy, guys. I'm happy. <laughs> yes. and, and thank you, Neek, for taking me to church. I was listening oh, to gospel no this problem. morning. And I continue to need Jesus every week the Cowboys play, okay? Listen, I'm excited as anyone. As a fan, I'm excited. I left him for dead. I said it was over. G had to talk me off the ledge. He was telling me it's going to be okay, big fella. He been texting me during these wins, talking about, hey, I told you, because y'all know G like to be right. And when he wrong, he does not say anything yes. like he has been either. Here's the thing, man. I love the matchup because of defense and offense. Like, let's be honest about what we're excited about. When you look at what Dallas has been doing defensively, I believe this is the most dominant unit in football right now. Dallas's defense is the most dominant unit in football. And when you look at the way that they play and the way that Philly runs offense, Philly offense is about space. It's about getting playmakers the ball, taking those deep shots. So you got Diggs who gonna probably uh, be on AJ. Or he's, or, or they gonna switch it up? You got a pass rush against one of the best offensive linemen in the, uh, offensive lines in the NFL. You got the RPO game with Jalen and Miles Sanders. You got linebackers that run side to side. You got safeties for Dallas that come down and hit. This is the type of matchup that you want to see in the NFL with two really good teams, but two teams that have units that are absolutely dominant at what they do and top tier. And I can't wait to play it, because if they win, y'all, I'm telling you, buckle your tail up for next week. Buckle up if they win this game. And Lord, don't let it be Cooper Rush, because you think Dominique preaching right now? Wait till next Tuesday if Dallas get this done. So, So the original construct. 